welcome you all to this class on agricultural entomology and today's topic is insect pest so today you will be learning about what an insect pest is and what are the types of injury that an insect pest would cause on crops like uh, paddy sugarcane coconut vegetables fruits etc and based on this understanding you will be able to identify the pest in a particular crop and having understood the kind of pest inflicting a particular crop you should be able to manage them effectively so with the basic understanding of what insects are we'll look into the definition of pest what is a pest a pest is any organism whose population increases to an extent so that it would cause some economic loss to the farmer so the organisms when i say any organisms it can be an insect or it can be a non insect like say a non insects for example it can be a millipede a crab a, a snail a bird or any mammal so here we are much interested to know about how insects are acting as a pest so all insects would feed upon plant parts in one way or other so based on this this feeding habit would change some of the insects are very good in chewing up the plant parts and some of the insects are very good in sucking up the plant sap so based on this the type of injury caused on the plants are broadly classified into two types one is the direct injury and the other one second one is the indirect injury so when you look at the direct injury direct injury is something when the insect would directly feed upon the plant parts be it the stem leaf root the buds tender stem or sometimes even the fruits so what happens here is there are two different types of insects that would damage the plant in two different ways so based on this the insects can be classified based on their feeding habitat as chewing insects sucking insects internal feeders and subterranean feeders so when you have internal feeders that indirectly says that these chewing and the sucking insects are external feeders meaning that they can feed upon the insect parts being staying outside the plant whereas the internal feeders are the ones that has to get into the plant parts to feed or get nourished whereas subterranean insects are the ones which would live in the soil and thereby they feed upon the roots and extract the nutrients out of the plant so we'll look at some of the examples how the chewing insects pest causes damage to the plants so chewing insects would sometimes start eating up the growing points like a grain wine beetle or they may cause defoliation leaving reduced assimilatory regions that by redu reduce photosynthesis sometimes they would cause notching of the leaves as in myloceras as well as hieroglyphus and oxia they may cause small holes large holes with irregular shapes and sizes sometimes they even eat up the surface tissues surface tissues as in the case of epilacna epilacna they may cause leaf rolling in some cases like nephelocrosis medinalsis and they may even damage the bark in rubella terrain as in mango you find in mango moringa curry leaf etc they will cut the stem of the stem of the germinating plants and thereby retard the growth at the initial stage itself and some of the insects like blister beetle will damage the flower buds thereby there is no production of seeds and finally you will also come across some uh, insect pests which could nibble and cut off the ear heads thereby productivity of the crop decreases drastically as well as 
they will also feed on some of them would feed on grains that were leaving the crop with chaffy grains so these are some of the ways by which the chewing insects feed upon different parts of the plants and damage the crop so moving on to the sucking pest sucking pest would stay outside the plant parts and thereby they do have piercing and sucking mouth parts they would extract the plant sap and results in chlorosis yellow speckling as in case of uh, coconut scale castor white fly uh, they may cause uh, silvering of leaves surfaces in case if it's a, if it's infected with thrips it will cause hopper burn or necrotic brown lesion as in nila parvata lugens the bland uh, brown plant hopper and you will also come across uh, sucking pest which would cause crinkling and curling of the leaves as you find in chili they will drastically reduce the vitality of the plant as well as if they are feeding on the fruits it would cause premature shedding of the fruit and if it in case of a stem the shoot would start drying off so let me just take all of you to take a break by reading this particular sentence avoid picking brinjals with spots or damages so this is a very common statement that all of us would have heard in one point or other when you are trying to pick up the brin brinjal from a vegetable vendor so what does it really imply yes that means somebody is cautioning you that in case if there is an external damage a small hole indicating that there is a presence of a worm or a damage inside or within so these are caused by borers so they are internal feeders they get into the body plant body of the plants and they start feeding upon and complete their life cycle and they may even emerge out only when they complete their life cycle so some of the worms and weevils like uh, uh, helicoverpa lucinodes orbanalis are very common internal feeders there are leaf miners there are galls caused by midges and moving on to the subterranean insect pest root grubs and root aphids that would feed upon the root they live in the soil they would feed upon the root and get the nutrition out of them so having spoken about this in internal and internal and external feeders we do have pests in insect pests in stored products too like um, cetophilus or i say the rice weevil they and also the pulse beetle that would stay or eat up the contents of the pulses when we store them for a long time and there are indirect effects of feeding too and when the infestation is heavy it would make the harvest more difficult and when the contamination is more that it will result in the loss of quality of the product as you find in the um, cardamom and some in insects when they move from one insect to another they do transmit few plant diseases especially viral diseases of plants and of course there are other methods too by which the insects would cause damage to plants like say when they had to lay their eggs they would insert their eggs within the plant tissues that by causing some damage and some ants would transmit uh, mealybugs aphids from one plant to another and there are leaf cutter bee which would complete its life cycle by rolling themselves within the leaves and uh, there are ants which would cut off the leaves just to make their home so to summarize you have uh, come across different kinds of pests like say chewing pest and uh, piercing and sucking uh, pest insect pest which would directly feed upon the in crops and thereby cause some kind of damage economical loss to the farmers and there are of course there are internal feeders too which would also contribute to the economic loss of the farmers so thank you